What is happening, everyone? I hope you're having a fabulous, fattest Friday out there. I do. Hey, my name is Jameson Sharp. They call me Doc. Um, I run a highly specialized political relations firm for a few industries and especially for political campaigns and political marketing. Yes, I do. Now, I will tell you this. I'm going to be giving you seven tips for political campaigns to use public relations for their advantage and benefit. Right? And these plays I'm about to give you, you guys need to live by. They're not all the plays in the playbook, but I'll tell you this. What I'm providing here is going to give you an edge. All right? If you're not out actively out front in front of your opponents trying to earn the voters' trust and the ability to increase your reach and be in front of the voters more often, you got a huge problem. It means you're probably going to lose your election. All right? The candidate who makes the biggest impression on the public who is most trustworthy, who is most likable, who actually goes into the sea of people and can be one with them and earn their support, will win the election. I think we all know that. So these tips I'm giving you, first of all, first of all, if you're in a running a political campaign as a political man, or campaign manager, or you are a politician, or if you're running for office for the first time, second time or your second term you're an incumbent whatever yeah got a little bit of a problem with your public relations i want you to contact me right now because i offer consulting i offer direction i offer a playbook i offer experience in this arena google me you will see i've got experience okay so these seven plays i'm going to be giving you for your political campaign i want you guys to really use because if you don't use them guess what probably going to lose your campaign, all right? Now, a lot of people say, be controversial. Well, you know, that only works for a small part of the time. Then people just start thinking of you as really not interested in helping the people. All you're interested in self-glory. I mean, that's a judgment, okay? And, and if it works for you, great. If not, well, okay. Anyways, let's get busy here because I want to help you guys out there. And by the way, I'm bipartisan. All right, I am an independent. I've worked for both on the left and right. All right, just because it's a professional duty of mine to you know, help whoever comes before me. But I prefer helping those who are transparent, all right, who really want to do good. All right, if you really want to do good for your local campaign, you really want to earn the voters' trust, you really want to get out front and be seen, contact me right now. My name is Jameson Sharp. They call me Doc. Please just hit me up. I am everywhere out here, all right? But, you know, first things first. If you really want to get in the media and start getting that exposure your campaign does so desperately needs, because let me tell you, your campaign really hinges on the success of this, you being in the media. Now, I see so many campaigns and so many politicians being reactive, and they're not being proactive. And that's a problem. And I think you would agree with me, all right? And maybe it's because they don't know how to go about pitching the media, inviting the media, or influencing the media. Well, that's okay. Contact me now. I can help you with that. Anyways, look, if you're out here, you're trying to get traction for your campaign, you need to hold an event, all right? You need to speak about policy in the community affected and surrounded by the people in the community who support your ideas. Hold an event. Invite the media out and speak about the topics that people want to talk about. People need change. They want change. And you know what? They will support you either way if you are working for them. Have the people support you in the event. Bite the media out. Get a crowd going. You'll thank me later. Look, organize. Look, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. I want second tent Martin Luther King was absolutely fantastic about the Civil Rights March. He's one of my heroes, by the way. He sure is. And, uh, you know, there's a little island out there in the Caribbean called Bimini, Bahamas, where I grew up. I, I grew up on an island. And, you know, he used to go out there to the island I, I grew up on and, and relax and regroup with his team and go back to the Civil March, Civil Rights, uh, you know, fight. And, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King, he was a hell of a guy. He really was. Anyways, Dr. Martin Luther King organizing marches, protests, especially overreach of the government and police. All 
right? The unfairness. He was good at highlighting the unfairness out here. And that's why he was great at it. So take a lesson from Dr. King. He was fantastic. Absolutely was. You know, you need to meet and hold court with community leaders. Invite the media when you hold court, okay? Talk about topics that people in the affected communities want you to talk about. Go visit, you know, homes, people, and invite the media. You'll thank me later. I appreciate you. All right. Talk about controversial issues, okay, when you're holding court. Talk about things people are afraid to talk about that need change, okay? Look, the only way you're going to really gain the trust of the public and gain their respect and support is if you go in the communities, invite the media, and, you know, and talk about and tell the people out there how you want to change policy, how you want to change things to help the people in the affected communities, and you'll earn their support, okay? Don't manipulate. Be truthful, be transparent, how you can help, and people will come, all right? The media will do its thing and poster your child you everywhere, okay? Trust me on this, they just will, all right? Create conversations that are hard to start. People like to avoid controversial topics because they're used to the status quo. No, go against the grain. Be unreasonable, it works, trust me, it just works. I've been unreasonable my whole professional career and it's worked great for me. Just trust me on this, all right? You know, so many politicians are scared that their public image is gonna be tarnished. Don't, don't, you're there to represent your people, to earn the voters' trust. What are you worried about? Show the real you, show the real people. Don't put on a front, because people can see right through that. And I think you know. Look, you're having trouble with that, you contact me right, right now. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you, all right? Look, another way to get the media involved in your campaign, all right? Go to nonprofits and help support their causes. Go in the communities, show how the nonprofits are helping things. You know, give speeches in the community. You know, bring awareness creatively to the problems affected to the communities. And I promise you, you'll get traction. Let me give you two examples. Hold a food holiday drive for people who are less fortunate. Hold a warm, you know, a, a warm clothing drive. You know, go out there, spearhead it. Go knock on doors, spearhead it. Invite the media and show that you're trying to help the community. Second, have corporate sponsors. Join your fight, your cause and help the nonprofit communities. Invite the media and thank me later, all right? Create conversations that are interesting to the community, effective. Show that you're out there giving goodwill and that you're trying to help the people out there. Promise you, you'll thank me later. You know, grassroots, never underestimate grassroots movements. They are the reason politicians get elected, all right? You gotta think, okay, you gotta be creative. How can you garner this support and earn voters trust? Grassroots movements is a great way. All right, talk about topics people are really thinking about. Look, Donald Trump is great at this with conservatives. All right, he talks about things people are thinking but are too scared to say. And that's one of the reasons why he won the election. So take a page from his book and talk about the things that really matter to the community and what people are really thinking out there on the streets. I promise you to thank me later. Hey, I appreciate you. That's all I got. I hope you got something out of this video. If uh, you, you you are running a political campaign, you're running for office, I don't care if it's city council, mayor, you know, Senate, Congress, hell, maybe President of the United States contacted me one day, you never know, because this video is, you know, maybe gonna get it, it's gonna get out there, I know it is. Anyways, I'm here to help you, I'm here to offer my help, okay, and advice, and consult. I'm here to help you in your campaign. I'm here to spearhead things for your campaign. Contact me now. For those of you guys that do not know me, my name is James Sharp. They call me Doc. That's all I got. Please comment, like, and share. Please follow us. Please subscribe. And, uh, you know, please like the video. Anyways, that's all I got. Like I always say at the end of my videos, good night and good luck. Take care. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks so much.